All right guys, next project you're gonna work on, after you get the inductive sensor, getting the double acting cylinder to extend and retract using the PLC, then you gotta your head around using the proximity sensor talking to the PLC, the PLC talking to the cylinders. So what I want you to do is then, using this capacitive sensor, so we're gonna use this bad boy right here, and what I want you to do is, when you press that capacitive sensor, or just put your finger in front of it, then I want the first cylinder to extend and clamp the piece, drill it out, come back, and then release that part. So you can see that my finger being in place over the capacitor is the part in place. If we take that away, then put another part in place, then it's going to clamp it, drill it out, come back with the drill, and then release, okay? And I don't want the thing to keep going, so even when you have this pressed in, I don't want it to do double cycles. So you can see that I still have my finger there, and we've got that kind of anti-repeat part of the, the circuit as well. So there are some issues with uh, my program. Let's see if I can show you. If I just tap this, then it doesn't go the full way. So I want you to be able to have that clamp in, go all the way back out, and then release. Let's see what happens if I have it half cycle. So you see there's some issues with my program. So this is a hard one to get, guys. What I want you to do is I want you to press this, clamp it, drill it, go back, and then release. You can see there's a lot of bugs that can happen in your program. So it looks like it's good, right? Again, it looks like everything's cool when I press this button, drills it out, releases, releases that clamp. But if I tap it, it doesn't work properly. And if I screw it up halfway cycle, then it may just get stuck at one point like this. So this is what we're looking for. If you get this, beautiful. If you get it without any bugs, you can come teach my class.